It's seven past seven, so no need for a detailed introduction. We all know what happened, so what next, I guess, is the question. Judith Collins is with us. A very good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Mike. How's it feel this morning? Yeah, it's really good. Great sleep last night. Um, you know, had some time with my staff yesterday afternoon. We went off to Backbenches Pub about four o'clock. Something I've just never done. So it's really, you know, I've not obviously been in the pub before, but, you know, go and do that. So it was really good fun. Mike, let me read you a couple of texts. Mike, most people don't realise it yet, but Judith has done National a huge favour by making it untenable for Bridges to be the leader. Was that the point? Oh, it wasn't just that point, was it, really? It's the fact that I was between a rock and a hard place. Dr Shane Reese and I decided the only thing to do was what um, I did. And, you know, I, I just want to give some clear air now for all of the um, those who want to put their hands up for the for the leadership, and I just... I just want there to be a really good contest and I want the right person to come through. Did you know when you said yesterday you'd still be leader at the end of the day that that wasn't true? Well, I thought, uh, well, you you never know, do you? But I felt that um, I could be. But I also knew, Mike, when I took the step I did, that it would most likely lead to me not being the leader. And I knew that that would have to... Well, not that it would have to happen, but it is... um, it was a likely outcome, but but I also felt it was the right thing to do. Honestly, Look, I, absolutely. Because I don't want I don't want to dwell too much on that aspect, no, no. but I am interested, like everybody else. It, 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 it yeah. was an un, it was an uncouth comment, no question, but the uh, it was dealt with. Yeah. The apology yeah. was offered and received. It's been five yeah. years, and yeah, then suddenly no. this woman's all traumatised again. Uh, No, it's not all traumatised again, actually, and I don't believe it was properly dealt with. I don't believe at all it was. um, No, and there was a real power imbalance. But look, just I think we just need to give some clear air to those who are contestants for leadership, and frankly, we've got some great people. Um, You know, you all know about Christopher Luxon. Not the people yet have been talking about Chris Bishop, couldn't find a harder working, more effective politician. Uh, Nicola Willis, uh, another hard working, effective politician. Um, these are, we need a new, a new broom and we need to be able to uh, move forward. And actually, as a party, we've got some great people. There are others as well. There are loads of people in there who could step up and would do really well. But we do need always to be looking forward. And that's what I want to do. Who will you vote for? Oh, well, you see who the contestants are. Um, it's, it's actually really nice to be um, in that end of the of, of the process in terms of being able to help get the, the next leader. But, you know, you've got to have leaders for certain times. As you know, Mike, I came in uh, not actually having sought it. I was um, asked to do it, and there has been the debacle of the Bridges and Muller um, times, and it was an election campaign. So I'm very happy I did my bit. And I'm very happy that um, I've made some changes that I believe were absolutely necessary. And all I do is just look forward. And looking forward is people of the ilk of um, Chris and Nicola and Christopher. And and also there are you know, there are others there as well. There's just so many. I mean, Dr. Shane Rishi is one of the most outstanding yeah, he's principal boring. people I know. He's boring. But no, 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 because he's actually such a decent person. Yeah, I'm and, sure he is. Uh, but but know, decency, know, but, decency but, but as perhaps you found out, Judith, doesn't make a leader. Well, um, you know, actually, sometimes it does, Mike, for the time that's needed. And that's the point. So there are lots of people in there. And I shouldn't just be picking um, winners, but I do think that it's time for the party to, uh, and the caucus to look to the next uh, generation coming through to be uh, for their leadership. Some clarification. You said you had the board's backing. You didn't. Why did you say you didn't? Uh, well, actually, it's um, funny how people... Uh, see things different ways. Uh, certainly the board backed me to make the decisions that I needed to make and I believe that that went exactly where it did. I mean, look, I had... I'm not going to say uh, who said what and why, but look, if that's the board's recollection, it's not my recollection, it's not the recollection of some others, but we just get on with it. Okay. And the main thing is this. That was always my decision. OK. It's does Goodfellow need to go as well? Decision. Uh, well, the board will have to make that decision. I think it is time, as I've said, for some changes, and it's the new generation coming through that we need to look to. What about your future personally? Are you still going to be the MP for Papakura, still challenging for oh. that seat come the next election? Oh, 
Absolutely, Mike. Um, that was very happy being the MP for Papakura when I was asked to actually almost begged by some to take over the reins uh, when, when uh, we took over that mess. And I'm um, no, absolutely very happy to do that. The, the one real regret around leadership is that I haven't been able to spend as much time in Papakura for the people there. You know, we've got a hugely um, biggest, oh, I think we've got the first biggest um, membership of the whole of the National Party. So they're really, really uh, a great electorate. I, I'm, not, I'm never giving that one up. One more text. <laughs> Mike, I'm so angry with Judith. She has damaged the party and her team were working hard at making traction against Labour. I've totally lost all respect for her. She needs to retire. I was in her electorate. I voted for her. Very disappointed in her. Denise, what do you say to her? I say to Denise, uh, in the fullness of time, I'm sure that uh, on reflection, people will see that I have actually done exactly the right thing for the party, knowing that there would be consequences for me. Um, it is absolutely the right thing. And I also think, too, people don't know all the facts and that, but look, I don't want to go down that path. I just think it is the right thing. We need to make sure we move on. And um, there are other people who need to have their chances. And as I've said, there's a few of them. Um, there's plenty of people in that place uh, who could who could take up the reins. And all we need to do is get behind whoever it is and let them do their job and not white ant them all the way through. Quick comment on the media. Were you done for from the start when some of them decided they didn't like you? Uh, well, I think Mike, you might have said that to me at one stage. And I said, oh, surely that's not. But look, you can't worry about that. I mean, people have their favourites, and the media do too. And sometimes they want um, a certain brand or a certain style or a certain whatever else. I can't help that. And I'm never going to be fake, Mike. Never. And I'm just not going to play that game. Nice to talk to you. Appreciate it very much. Judith Collins, former leader of the National Party. And I think we got the endorsement there, didn't we? 14 past seven.